Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about creating a Gradle project in NetBean 12.4 as well as adding dependencies into our project using Gradle. So I'll come to this file a new project and uh, here by default this Java with Marvin is selected so we'll select Java with Gradle and it is a Java application and now we'll click next now here I will name it uh, Java uh, with Gradle and now I'll uh, finish to create this project so it will take some time to um, load and build this project now the project is created and you can see it here Java with Gradle now I'll come to this build script and uh, here you can see this uh, setting.gradle and uh, Gradle properties and build.gradle so we will add our dependencies into this build.gradle so it will be inside this if I remove this line and if I go here and uh, I'll search for uh, Marvin repository and now I'll search for Marvin central repository and here I'll search my SQL connector and I'll search this and I will open this first one and now this one is uh, first one is Apache Maven so if you want uh, to use the dependency with the uh, Maven you have to copy this but we want to use it with Gradle so we need this one so I'll copy this and if you are using with Kotlin so you will then copy this so we are using this with Gradle, Groovy. So I'll copy this one and uh, now I'll close this down and now I'll paste it here. Now I'll control is this and now the Gradle will Gradle and now if I run this now the project successfully built and now I'll go to this uh, Google Chrome and now we will go to home page and now to this uh, J connector example and now to this uh, driver manager and now I'll copy this code to check if uh, these imports are available and the dependency is, is added successfully so now I'll control C this now I'll go again to this uh, NetBeans and to this main.java and now here I'll control V this and now I'll uh, remove this and uh, now if I click on this you can see that imports are available and the driver is successfully added into our project so I'll import this as well and I will remove this and all errors are gone so that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you